In today's video, I'm going to show you guys everything in my PC of the best defensive player in the NFL, including a game used jersey. Try to catch me howling at tomorrow. That's not something you see every day, but only at trade night. This is Trevor Lawrence. How are you doing? Oh this world. Today is definitely the craziest day ever. Had a car show. A lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this play special every day. So, All right, what's going on, YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today, we are back for another PC showcase. But this time, the best defensive player in the NFL. And I know that's going to already cause some, uh, cause some drama because uh, if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, you might say it's TJ Watt. If you like the Dallas Cowboys, uh, you can make the argument it is Micah Parsons. There's many others. Max Crosby look, looks great this year. Uh, there's a lot of people I'm sure you could consider for it. But to me, it is uh, without question Miles Garrett. So this is a PC of mine, a personal collection uh, that started uh, right in 2017 when Miles was drafted. Uh, when he was drafted, I think the first thing that caught my attention was, one, he's obviously going to be a star. I was really big on him. I thought uh, he was next level good. But I also noticed very quickly that he did not have autographs. So that naturally attracted me to picking up his stuff. Uh, anytime somebody doesn't have an autograph and they're limited to just parallels and such, um, I, I thought in my head, well, there's probably some demand for that type of stuff. Uh, if he ends up being really, really good and doesn't have autographs, his rare, more unique stuff will be in demand. Uh, and that has definitely proven true, as Miles still does not have pack bolt autographs from Panini. Um, my understanding is, is he's got a 2015, some old school Tops auto um, from like the All-American type days. But um, I have not seen one in a long time. I actually uh, saw a picture of one at the National um, and th you know, thought it was crazy, but... Um, never seen a, a Panini pack bold autograph. He doesn't have any. So I uh, have a couple of unique things in here and then obviously a, a jersey we'll talk about. So um, yeah, let me uh, let me show you guys what I've been able to pick up. Definitely not the, the biggest personal collection. This is not something where um, I buy any and all Miles Garrett all of the time. I do not collect every one of his cards, um, but I've got a, you know, I've got enjoyment in collecting some of his more unique stuff. Um, again, he does play in Cleveland, so Brown stuff is obviously popular locally, so we certainly have seen our fair share of cool Miles Garrett cards over the years, um, and I definitely would not mind adding some more unique stuff to the PC. So if that opportunity arises, I will definitely be be looking to do so. So, <clears throat> all right, starting off here, not a lot of non-rookie stuff that's not like really unique. You'll see some in the top five here. Uh, this is a Classics out of 10 uh, no name on the front from 2018, so second year. Uh, then you've got a score end zone, which is numbered three of six. Uh, that's also 2018, so second year. Uh, then you got a Miles Garrett gold prism. Always love a true gold. 2018, so second year prism, uh, prism gold. That's probably one of those cards I, I I'm hoping to pick up more of in the in the in time is more more true golds. Just feel like you can't go wrong with those. Uh, then you've got a status out of 95, uh, again, second year, 2018. Uh, you've got a Miles Garrett out of 10, second year, and then the one-of-one one Black Ice uh, from 2018 Elite. Uh, Good-looking card. Uh, and then you've got a one-of-one one from, what is this, 2019? Yeah, 2019. So 2019 Elite and 2018 Elite, different parallels. This is an insert set. Um, I don't think this is the true base that year. <clears throat> so two one ones early. Uh, then you got a status rookie out of 95 from Elite. A uh, purple parallel rookie out of 99. Certified purple numbered to 10. Unparalleled rookie numbered out of 49. <clears throat> Some sets like unparalleled we haven't seen in a while. It'd be cool to bring that back, I think. <clears throat> one of my favorite sets every year, Phoenix football. You have an out of 75 rookie rising. And then you have an out of 25 rookie rising gold. And then the black true rookie, which is numbered six of 10. So as you can tell, again, I didn't pick up everything. I tried to pick up mostly unique, or, uh, unique stuff. I think everything so far is number 99 or less. <clears throat> uh, gold rookies and stars rookie numbered two out of 10. Uh, Spectra blue die cut 29 of 35. Again, continuing on uh, with the rookies here, you've got a couple from Contenders Optic. You've got a blue 
out of 99 and have red numbered out of 199. So a couple different parallels there, nothing too crazy. Uh, an absolute green numbered 9 of 25. Another rookie out of 25. This one's plates and patches numbered 11 of 25. Uh, again, 2017 plates and patches. Then a couple nice ones from Prism. His uh his Prism stuff, his good Prism stuff seems to seems to do pretty well. So you've got 81 of 91, uh, 99 and 44 of 99. So two different green scopes uh, from 2017 Prism. Miles Garrett, and then a green select die cut rookie numbered one of five. Don't prefer die cuts, but. At this point, a rookie out of five will take it. And then a one of one rookie printing plate from XR, which would have been put in Chronicles, I'm sh uh, I think. Uh, but one of one XR rookie printing plate. And then a couple from NT right here. You have two of 99. That is the true base rookie of Miles uh, from National Treasures. One of his better true rookie cards. And then a <clears throat> silver parallel out of five of 25 uh, from National Treasures 2017. <clears throat> A couple more here. We've got a Prism 2017 light blue uh, PSA 10 numbered 81 of 99. Again, don't have a ton of graded stuff, but uh, again, is <clears throat> just with the lack of autos, felt some of the better numbered, cooler, uniquer stuff of Miles in PSA 10 or 95 Beckett grades uh, was, was worth having. So I think these are all graded uh, by PSA or BGS. Uh, then you've got a Blue Wave PSA 10, 58 of 149. So two Prism PSA 10 rookies. <clears throat> really solid one here, probably a hard grade. I would imagine this is relatively low pop. 94 of 95. So the, the red is numbered a jersey number, so it's numbered out of 95. And it's a PSA 10. So really a uh, really solid one to have there. Again, considering he doesn't have autos. So his rookie stuff, the better rookie stuff he's going to have is going to be from NT. Uh, then you've got a uh, Optic Black 9.5 uh, nine numbered out of 25. So again, select Optic Prism NT. When you don't have autos, you, that's, the, that's the best stuff, and that's what I try to grab. So love the black uh, from Optic. And then probably one of my favorite card sets is the, is the field level. So Miles Garrett, field level rookie from Select in the copper, probably closest thing to the Browns team color, I would guess. Uh, out of 75? Yeah, 47 of 75 uh, PSA 10. So there's more of these coming in a second. I'll show you here. But then we got the top five cards in the PC. Again, I try to keep unique, so not really a bunch of volume here. You're not going to see uh, a bunch of parallels or cheap autos or jerseys like I might have of like... Braxton Miller, some of the Buckeye guys. This is stuff, something where I really try to grab some more of the unique stuff. So here is one of those. This is a Miles Garrett XRC gold numbered out of 10. A uh, really, really hard to find rookie. So this would have been in 2016 select. Would have been like defensive player number one. Uh, ended up being Miles Garrett. Uh, I've had this one for a little while, but one of his... Uh, better gold parallel rookies he's gonna have a few from select he'd have uh prism obviously but xrc obviously has been really popular over the years um as it's developed to turn into autos other things but a gold of the best defensive player in the league don't mind having that one then we've got a uh, a flawless nike patch from 21 flawless and it is game worn so a game worn Nike swoosh, two of two. Obviously love the numbering myself, uh, but a game-worn patch of Miles Garrett. Again, just finding game-worn stuff is hard these days, so anytime you can find it of a guy that doesn't have autographs, seems like a, seems like a win. So Nike patch, two of two. Uh, and then I would say probably his best uh, non-rookie non insert, or best non-rookie card, I would say, uh, is gold kaboom kabooms are obviously big this is miles first kaboom i have a gold five of ten grades not amazing uh, again it's just not it's not centered very well um, so eight five is not necessarily what we're searching for here but to have a gold kaboom again i think that's his best non-rookie card 
So, um, obviously, shields, like flawless 101 shields, whatever, like those are obviously good. Um, but it's got to be up there for best non rookie card. So, Miles Garrett, Gold Kaboom, numbered 5 of 10, would definitely be top 5 card. And then these are tough. Um, I I've debated this a while. I'm going to. I'm going to say my favorite is probably the one I've had the longest. I'll get to that in a second, but this is hard to pass up. I think I got this in Chicago in 21 at the National. I was a Miles, uh, Miles Garrett encased from 2020. Game worn, uh, right there. Game worn slash used. Uh, one of one NFL shield. Uh, you can see right there from the top of the jersey. But when I saw it, it walked up the table. I still remember getting it. I'm like, got to have this. Would love to have this in the PC. Uh, I picked up this before the Flawless Shield, before the Kaboom. So this is one I've had a while, but definitely uh, was one of my better Miles Garrett cards for sure. So again, when you don't have autos, you got to find stuff that's like game-worn, unique, rare. And I feel like this is a perfect example. I don't know if he's got... I know a friend has a 101 Shield, but I don't know how many other 101 uh, NFL Shield he has. I would imagine not very many. So there's that. And then uh, probably my favorite, I would say. So a couple reasons why this is really cool. This is a uh, Miles Garrett pink uh, and it is 101. So this is a field level pink 95 Miles Garrett rookie. Uh, so a couple things. I've had this card for a very, very, very long time. Uh, I don't think they did it last year, but in the past, uh, these pink parallels were available at the national in the silver pack, the redemption packs at the national. So you would pull pinks. They had, I own a few LeBron ones. If you've seen the LeBron PC videos in the past, I own a few LeBron ones, him holding the trophies. Um, those are from those packs. The pink parallels from select have been put in those, uh, national packs. So obviously as somebody that's been to 14, 15, whatever, I forget the number, 14 or 15 straight uh, national card conventions. Um, I obviously love the national. It's a big part of my year, big part of our year. Um, so I enjoy that. So the fact that this came from there, it's miles. I've had it a long time. I got this early nine, five grade. Um, again, just a rookie field level one on one of miles scared. It's not the black that would definitely trump this, I think, but um, a one on one miles scared rookie. Feels pretty good about that. And then, obviously, uh, it's hard to find these. I've had this one for a little while. I posted about it on Instagram. This is a Miles Garrett uh, game-worn jersey. A uh, couple marks here I'll try to try to highlight. But, um, obviously, you got the full nameplate on the back, big numbers, and then some of the stuff here. Uh, when it was photo-matched, it was photo matched to this mark right here. That that was one of them. Uh, there's the NFL shield. Uh, you can see some, a little bit of wear. It's hard to see. It looks like it was washed, but there's a little bit of wear on, on the sleeve there. Uh, you've got the Nike swoosh again on the sleeve. Uh, you've got the 1946 in the back. You've got the tag right there. There's the NFL shield, which looks very similar to that one right there. So a couple different uh, Miles Garrett shields. One's in a card. One's on the jersey still. Again, a couple more marks. So this one was worn, I think it was November 7th. It was 2021. Uh, they played the Bengals. They beat the Bengals. Uh, Miles had one and a half sacks on Joey B. This is when Baker was still on the team. Uh, Nick Chubb was Nick Chubb was healthy. Um, I think he had one tackle, one assist, and then again, one and a half sacks. So uh, don't see these... I'm not in the game used memorabilia space as much, but I think it's fun to own. Again, just with game worn stuff being harder to find in cards, I think these are unique. And I think the cool thing about NFL jerseys, right? And I, I saw this one time, had to have been five years ago. Somebody said something about think of the difference in game worn jerseys from an NFL player to baseball or basketball. Basketball's got what, 82 games, 86 games, something like that. So LeBron's played 20 seasons, has 80 jerseys. That's 1,600 jerseys. Miles Garrett plays 10 years in the NFL at 18 games every year. That's 180 jerseys. Just so many, uh, so so few opportunities to get them. They swap them with players. They give them to teammates. How many Miles, again, Miles is just one example, but um, Donnie Nicky, right, a guy I collect. That's why it's fun to pick up those game-use jerseys because 
how many opportunities do you get to buy a game one jersey of an NFL player? Um, college is even more so. That's why I love buying the Ohio State stuff. But um, that was really why I was like, you know what? This would be a really cool PC edition. And I ended up buying this in a jersey where I got Sam Hubbard, AJ Hawk, Marshawn Lattimore, Miles Garrett, um, and one other. There was five total jerseys, um, but Miles was certainly one of the one of the favorites. So, so yeah, I would say that is uh, that is the highlight of my Miles Garrett PC right there. Hopefully, can add more cool stuff in the future. But again, not not the biggest PC, um, but one uh, I've really enjoyed adding unique stuff to over the years. So hopefully, we'll be able to do this again in the future and have added some some more cool stuff uh, down the road. So let me know. Who do you guys want to see next? What do you uh, what are you looking forward to seeing in the PC? Drop a comment. Let me know. Would love to get your guys' opinion on that. But stay tuned. More cool card content coming very soon. Uh, but for now, guys, that's all I got. Peace, guys.